you'll need a piece of aluminum foil, a sample of cured PDMS, and a glass microscope slide. Place the piece of aluminum in the glass jar. The aluminum will help spark the plasma. Next, place the PDMS on top of the glass slide with a patterned surface facing upwards. Insert the glass slide and PDMS into the glass jar. Tightly close the lid of the jar. The glass slide should act as a barrier between the PDMS and the aluminum. This will help prevent sparks from the aluminum from burning the PDMS. Next, using a vacuum pump, evacuate the glass jar down to a pressure of 6 torr or less. Higher pressures will make it more difficult to spark the plasma. Place the evacuated jar in the microwave. A mug of water will help prevent damage to the microwave by absorbing energy. Set the timer for 30 seconds and press start. The plasma should spark within 5 to 10 seconds. Allow the plasma to treat the PDMS for 10 to 15 seconds, then stop the microwave. After stopping the microwave, allow the jar to cool for at least 5 minutes. Here we're using a thermal camera to measure the surface temperature of the jar. After only 15 seconds of plasma treatment, the jar temperature has risen to nearly 100 degrees Celsius. Testing the hydrophobicity of the PDMS. After treatment with oxygen plasma, the PDMS surface is hydrophilic and water evenly wets the surface. However, if the PDMS is burned by the plasma, the soot will cause the surface to become very hydrophobic.